tonight, the arrest of a former candidate for state senate is now getting national attention from gun rights supporters. 7 Eyewitness News was first to tell you Friday that police in the falls found an AR-15 automatic rifle and a handgun in the car of Gia Arnold. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui explains, support, financial support, is stacking up behind Arnold. Gia Arnold is free on bail amid allegations she had an illegal AR-15 assault rifle in her car last week. Stephen Altstead is the president of the Shooters Committee for Political Education, or SCOPE, a pro-gun organization. He wouldn't comment on this specific case, but says the group has long contested the now illegal status of most AR-15s. If you're going to pass a law that has to do with guns, you should, have, you should pass a law uh, that actually targets criminal behavior. Um, not makes criminals out of ordinary sportsmen and gun owners. That's partially why thousands of dollars have been raised online to help fund Arnold's defense. The GIA's Unsafe Act Defense Fund on Rally.org has raised about $4,000 in a matter of days. According to the fundraiser, officers did not give Arnold a reason for pulling her over last Wednesday. And it claims police misidentified her airsoft pistol for a handgun. The organizer of the fundraiser says the AR-15 found in Arnold's car was illegal under the New York Safe Act, but the sporting rifle would have been legal before the law was passed. Scope says it should still be legal in New York. AR-15s are used for many things, target shooting, competition, um, recreational shooting, hunting. They're the most popular sporting rifle sold in America today. Not all Second Amendment advocates are coming to Arnold's defense. This blogger claims she created her own problem by possessing a loaded assault rifle in her car, and her case won't won't be the one to overturn the SAFE Act. Calls to Niagara Falls police weren't returned Monday. As for Arnold, we're told she's received death threats from this incident, so she isn't talking publicly. Arnold is expected to appear in Niagara Falls City Court tomorrow. If convicted, she could face up to seven years in state prison. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.